What's up guys, Mr. Gims back again and today it's going to be another Halloween Haunted by Daylight sort of update news slash what's going on within the game currently. Um, obviously the 13th today, so that means that the Halloween event is coming out. So, Haunted by Daylight, a great breach has appeared across the skies of the Entity's Realm. Collect void energy when repairing generators and hooking survivors. Transfer 30 Void Energy into Unstable Rifts to unlock new cosmetic rewards. An event tome has arrived with m even more rewards to be earned only playable during this Halloween event. So, and this is again courtesy of DVD Leaks. We can see uh, Quinton going around here. He's kicking pumpkins and then he is starting to do those gens. And every so often, I think it's like every second skill check if you see, he's getting some Void Energy, which is... Um, how you are going to, I guess, open up that rift or close that rift. I'm not sure <laughs> in which way it goes. But as you can see as well in the bottom left-hand corner, he has a rift meter. Right now he has two energy. And I believe it said you needed 15 to close the rift or open the rift. Is that correct? I'm not sure. Um, but that's pretty much the event. And that's on the survivor's side. For killer's side, I think it's just going to be a fact of just hooking survivors on those special Halloween event hooks. Um, pretty straightforward. We've done all this before. There's nothing really new, but at least they've just like added a bunch of different things from all the other previous Halloween events and they've chucked it into this one. So for that, I'm actually kind of, um, I, I can definitely appreciate it. So yeah, well done for that. And also, and finally, I wanted to show you this as well, the Arcane Dowsing Rod. This is a new offering for survivors. I, I believe it will be for killers as well. I'm not sure. It might be different for killers, but it do the same thing, essentially. Taps into the latent energy of the Entity's Realm to find even more concentrated pockets of power. It's a personal use, provides 100% blood point bonus to event hooks. Complete. Okay, so it is for killer as well. Completed event generators and void energy transfers. Provides a directional cue when an unstable rift spawns within 24 meters. And they're those rifts here that I'm showing that you've got to return the energy to to gain the cosmetics. And um, I'm not exactly sure how long it takes to get cosmetics in this. Um, obviously, with the event tome, you're going to be able to get cosmetics through that as well. But all in all, this is looking pretty good. I'm pretty excited for it. And that is the basics of how this Halloween uh, event is going to work. And finally, guys, I want to go through the rift as well, which consisted of so many cosmetics that I wanted, um, obviously, namely Ghostface. And um, I just want to go through it. If you haven't seen it yet, haven't had a chance as well, I'm just going to show the best sort of cosmetics. I'm not going to go through the whole thing. And um, yeah, I'm just, I'm really looking forward to going through this because I haven't actually done it yet. Let's have a look. Rift has opened. Again, I didn't get a chance to play yesterday because I was a bit sick, but here we go. Um, here's the new archives, obviously. Um, you got your reward there, and uh, there you go. You got some Ghostface ones there. Uh, Mark three Survivors, pretty simple there. Is that the only Ghostface one for this? That's interesting. There will be more, obviously. And then, of course, there's it features as well Michaela. Uh, bless one tome as Michaela Reed. <laughs> Ginger's gonna love that. Um, but there you go. That's pretty much all there is to this right now. We can't access the other levels, obviously. You guys know that. And here is the new rift, as you can see. And I love this, man. I, I know people were talking about this, but there's blood point rewards now, which is absolutely massive. I, I just think filling it up with more stuff is great. Anytime they're gonna do that, I'm more than happy to do it. I'm gonna move my cam over here. Right, uh, and this is what you get if you buy, if you unlock the pass. Yeah, you get the, wow, you get the outfit straight away. That's really cool. Okay, that's interesting. So you get that straight away. That's awesome. That's awesome. I really like that outfit. Among the rotting brush, he was nearly invisible in this jumpsuit. Yeah, this is like kind of the scarecrow outfit, right? Kind of. And then you get 100,000 straight away as well. That's really cool. Right, so let's go through some of this. Um, some of this you guys would have already seen. I understand that, but I still want to go through it because I haven't seen it. There we go. Plague reskins. I'm not going to click on everything, guys, because I'm not really interested in some of the charms, if I'm being completely honest with you. Oh, blighted pants. Nice. I forgot about this. Nice. Adam's blighted pants. I want that. Just because why not? You know what I mean? It's awesome. And yeah, I'm not going to click on any of these anymore. I don't, I don't care about these. Oh, that's the Observer's Tower, is it? Interesting. What's this? Oh, wow. Yeah, it's her new weapon. That's cool. I actually dig that. Uh, and that's going to be an Adam 
Is that going to go with his blighted stuff? It's got no blight in it. I wish they put more juice on them. <laughs> that sounds really weird. Keeping it going. There we go. More red for her. Looks good. I like it. Um, oh, I like that. <laughs> that's kind of cool for Ace. Oh, wow. That's cool. Is that a reskin? I can't say I've ever seen the helmet on like that. That's kind of cool for Rafe. I like it. And that's very cool. That's very cool. Would have liked more blight on it, but it still looks really cool. I'll definitely be using that for Adam. It's about time he got some more love, to be honest. Um, then we've got a Rafe weapon, which looks absolutely devastating if that was to hit you. I like that. It's kind of cool. And then we got the zombie ghost face mask, which is awesome. Big fan. I just like that we're getting heaps of them now. That's really cool. I like it. Yeah, I like that. That's cool. That goes with his other, obviously, his other bloody workman clothes. It's cool. Yeah, that's all right. I like the crown. I think that's nice. And we got Bottoms for Michaela Reed. Yeah, looks pretty cool. I like it. Uh, Ace Tiger Top, which I think is cool. Tiger Jacket. I'll be taking that as well. Very cool. And then we got our little Funko Pops. Well, I call them Funko Pops. I know they're not, but I always collect these. I love them. Um, I think it's cool. Okay, well, who's this for? Oh, yeah, nice. We're getting a ghost face weapon. Kind of looks very similar to his other one, but I'll take it. It might look different when you're using it. That looks cool. I like the bright colors. For Meg Thomas, looks nice. And then we've got the Scarecrow Mask. I really want this one. I think it's cool. Scarecrow Mask for Ghostface. That's brilliant, man. Absolutely brilliant. Cool. I love how we're only at page, what, page six, and we got a animated, an animated charm already, which is really, really cool. I like it. I actually might use that too, which is crazy. <laughs> like, good work behavior on that. Nice, Yui Kamiras. I think this is her, um... Is this her community outfit? I'm pretty sure it is, isn't it? Pretty sure. Yeah, I think it is. That's really cool. I like that. I like that already. And I don't really use Yui. Some yellow blonde hair. <laughs> Maurice is missing milk carton. That's kind of funny. I kind of like that. Oh, wow. Yeah, right. This is the metal ghost face mask. I thought that was the plague's weapon for a second. Very, very cool. I like it. I mean, I'm not, yeah, for me, I'm not going to hate any of these, am I? I'm going to be, yeah, I think everyone's really keen on these. Very cool. Love it. And then we've got a Blood Point Gummies. That's kind of cool. I find that I find that cool. But yeah, I probably won't run it. And that's her bottoms. That looks really cool. I like that. Uh, what is this? That That's going to be the community. At, wow, they give you the whole thing at level 100. Or well, level whatever it is. What level is this? Where's the levels? Ah, oh, 70. Yeah, it's always 70, isn't it? Nice. That is really cool. That it almost makes me want to see her more. <laughs> I like it. That, that's really cool. You just get the whole thing at that level. They've really jam-packed this tome. I mean, I mean, the ghost face was a selling point, but everything else is awesome. And that is the bleeding ghost face mask. Yep. And I, I must have it. But guys, the absolute cue to gras, the absolute finale, I think everyone can agree, is going to be... The was up mask. Come on. Everyone's going to be using that. Everyone's going to be using that. It's so cool. And I'm so glad we finally got it. Putting the laughter back into the slaughter. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. And then we've got a Michaela Reed finish for that. And the ultimate charm is <laughs> Ghost Face with the Dwight picture. I'm surprised that's the ultimate charm. I would have gone with that because it's animated. Makes sense to me. But that's going to be it, guys. I'm very, very impressed with the ghost face tome. I'm very impressed with what we're getting so far with the Halloween uh, update, Halloween event update. Um, obviously, I would have liked something a little bit new. The Rift situation is new-ish, but like, yeah, I'm going to take it for what it is. I'm going to get a lot of free cosmetics out of this for the very small price of a thousand Oryx cells, which I think is way worth it, especially for what you get. And you're also getting your community outfits as well, which is a big deal. I know a lot of people want those. Um, they look awesome. Uh, and overall, I'm really happy. Let us know what you guys think. How you guys feel? Are you happy with this update so far? Are you going to be smashing out this Halloween tome? Because I do every single time, man. I absolutely love it. Uh, and yeah, don't forget, I stream on Twitch at 7 p.m. tonight. So if you want to come and check me out, you can do. All the links to all my socials and everything else is in the description below. Let us know how you feel, guys. You know I answer the comments. And I will see you guys hopefully tonight on Twitch. All right. See you in the next one.